Hold on, I got to turn this one on. All right, now let's go. You guys want to introduce yourselves to start? We got a, with some special guests in today from uh, the beer industry. That's right, beer industry. Uh, Cliff Stevenson with Daytona Beverages, uh, high end brand manager. So I help uh, manage our craft beer portfolio for uh, Volusia and Flagler County. I am Tyler Benham. I work with Intuition Ale Works. We, uh, uh, Jacksonville Brewery, pretty much work with Cliff hand in hand out in the Daytona market. So. All right, so, so Cliff, so you want to tell them the mic? Is I already need to get a little closer to the mic, Cliff. Mike right. does. Tyler, sorry. Okay, that's so, there you go. Cliff's got it. So, Cliff, you put put up with our bullshit on a weekly basis. Weekly basis. You come in, you force us to buy stuff, and <laughs> that makes sense itself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, force. I don't sell you crappy yeah, beer. It's awesome. This is awesome because high end stuff. Right. Yeah, we you know we have a, a tendency to carry um a little bit more uh, some of the limited stuff here at Cigar Hustler, right? And uh, we've recently kind of got into intuition uh, because, you know, this is Tyler's second or third time around, and he obviously won't go away. So, uh, <laughs> not going to happen. That's what it happen. takes to here, here. Here for it's good. determination. <laughs> so you might as well start promoting the product. And what the fuck, you know? Uh, we did do a quiz. Uh, you came in for one of the quiz things that we actually wound up giving up on because it sucked. But, yeah. um, you know, you, you still came out. You, you know, you gave it a shot, which we truly appreciate. It was a really good time. I got to meet a bunch of your regulars that come in, I guess, on a weekly basis as well. And we got to all hang out and just bullshit. So yeah. It's a really good time there. That's Try uh, El Guapo that time. That was our Mexican lager. Right. I think that yeah. just got tapped. Those fuckers that are usually come in on, on the quiz show, are, you know, the they they're all there for just the free stuff. That's so. that, the that's 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 they're like, what free stuff you got? Yeah. Like, you got what are you buying? <laughs> <laughs> so I love them to death, but god damn it, man. So um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the co the company that you work for and you know how they kind of got started? So. Intuition started with Ben Davis. He got into wine a long time ago, and then he moved to, back to Florida because he came from Florida. Um, he started this company in 2010 uh, after drinking, I believe it was a Sierra Nevada, actually, so Paleo. Um, and he really enjoyed that, and then he just wanted to make his own, and that's where I-10 came from. So I-10, if anybody's familiar with Jacksonville, it's pretty much the start of I inter Interstate 10, and it runs all the way to California. It goes all the way across. And, that was his first beer. Um, People's Pale Ale followed after that, and that was the first beer ever canned in Florida. Um, so we were the first brewery to really introduce canning into Florida as well. So one of our big twos that really were kind of influential for everybody else that kind of followed. What's and the big difference between cans and bottles? Does so it affect the flavor? It, it actually is going to be as fresh as possible when you get it in a can. So the best thing about, I can say, to ca what cans are, are like baby kegs. So no oh. light gets to it. You don't have any of the rattling and stuff like that. So when you get light going through beer, it offsets the flavor. Gotcha. Cans completely sealed. They got a membrane on the inside, so you don't get that canny taste. Like back in the back in the day, everybody used to complain about that. It tastes like a tin can. If it does, pour it in a glass. And it's actually it's more, probably more cost efficient <laughs> as well. Than a little bit more cost efficient. Yeah. Effective. Yeah. Um, no it, it stacks or, better. You can stack cans. Oh, yeah. uh, like he said, like two things affect beer freshness, and that's uh, the UV light and um, and oxygen, and so it's actually a better seal than a bottle, yeah. and uh, obviously it blocks uh, all the light instead of some of it. Do you live in Jacksonville? Actually, I live out here in Deltona. So you live out in Deltona? Deltona. Deltona. He's Deltona. local. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> out here. I used to have a cigar shop when I was in South Orlando that I would go to, but it's not the same. Like this place really kind of sucked me in. So like I I stop in whenever I'm on my way back from Orlando. My territory is pretty much almost Tampa to Coco, right? And north. So. But you, I so but you just were telling us before that you just came back from North Carolina. Yes, I was in North Carolina for we surprised a friend up there. He uh he moved up there on a on a position with dogfish head right and he um had no friends and so like his wife called us up and like you guys need to get up here quick because he's going through like a real downhill because he's dousing <laughs> himself <laughs> with gasoline <laughs> I, was I was like i'm like all right it's we'll just go stay for a little bit but <laughs> so like okay so all the other people in the industry you're kind of close with you know even though it's like kind of in the cigar industry like um we're friends with everybody, or at least the people who are cool, yeah. right? Even though they're, they're considered your competition, I guess, to some degree, but they're kind of not as well. So, you know, you just kind of get along with everybody, that, you know, yeah. right? So it, what it is is kind of like, so there's like two families, really. You got your AB houses and your Miller houses, and then all those reps kind of stay together. Right. But when you cross borders or cross districts, like sometimes you're in a different house, so you get different 
people that you meet or you're not always there so you can always like intertwine between the two houses and hang out so right it's pretty cool so it's never like a knife fight doesn't break out or anything like that i mean Miller there, line. there's a couple Ew. every now and then yeah. but that's like yeah. i mean if you if you know somebody's head hunting your lines or something like that right yeah it can, Some shit like that doesn't really happen anymore right yeah okay so so you, you're local mm-hmm. um so what else do you do? Do you just check into to the stores, or do you do like parties and stuff like that? So or? We do a lot of events. Um, we just did a convention with Disney um, not too long ago, so it's kind of like we parked our truck out there. We were pouring straight from the taps on our truck and just hanging out. So wow. we do big things like that, and then we turn around and we do small things like the trivia night with you guys. It's right. more like a personal kind of thing. So I bounce around and do that, but that's like a small percent of what we actually do as reps. Uh, we have to look at inventory. We have to make sure that the right people are getting the right products. Freshness on all our cans that are actually out in the market is a huge deal. We really want to make sure you guys are getting the best product. So a new customer comes up and doesn't buy an old beer. Like, that's right. one of our biggest things. Like, we really want to make sure that you're getting our best foot. Got it. It's a lot of inventory, like, management, and it's yeah. not just with us. It's or you get Cliff that calls you in the middle of the night. Hey, we're running low on this. And I'm you like, know, it's, I've tried calling him in the middle of the night. night. He doesn't answer. That's, a, that's a bold yeah. face lie. <laughs> that's not I, I'll face answer lie. my phone after that. It was hours. like 1030, and he's, like, calling me. I'm like, what am I supposed to do right now? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a heads up. I know, like, I know how Dan is. I had, like, 12, a I had 12 beers yesterday, and you're like, Try to talk business. I'm like, no, man, I'm home. <laughs> okay, so you have these are your four core lines, right? Yes. So okay. we have our what we're rolling into is our course, pretty much kind of push through summer, and then uh, all of our specialty releases will be released periodically throughout the summer. So that's usually one of the big things. Like with the beer industry, you're going to see like one special release at at a certain time of Seasonally, the year, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So how many how many specialties do you release a year? We try to do four to eight because we're rolling in with a new sour line. So we're actually releasing a pineapple sour that's going to be into the Orlando and Daytona market soon. Pineapple mint sour, so that's kind of like a summer se- series along with our double IPA that's coming out as well. So okay, so now um, out of these little kind of uh, events that you do, the big ones and the small ones, what's the what's been the craziest experience that you've had at any of them? <laughs> well. <laughs> There's a couple things out on the coast when I was out in Cocoa that were kind of like, we, all right. So it we do beer beer fest and everybody loves beer fest. But before the beer fest, right. most of the guys like all of our friends will get together and we'll do a shotgun or, you know, like to get the ready. Beer reps, like yeah, the, the beer, beer reps, reps that we're like, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Well, I mean, like a team huddle. Yeah, yeah there's, team huddle there's just some get times together. Where some beer reps get a little too crazy and because we're always trading beers throughout this festival because we're we're not gonna sit there for eight hours and not drink a beer. You know what I mean? Like, right. So we're all hanging out, and we did get a room out there one time, and still drinking throughout the day and then into the night. This was a beer fest about four or five months back, and we were all staying there. And so after the fest, a bunch of like the customers, I guess you could say, came back with us to the hotel, and we were all hanging out. And one of them was projectile vomiting over the side and in uh, the balcony, oh. landing in the pool. And we're like, oh, <laughs> yikes. yikes. It wasn't my hotel room, so that was the best part. But that was probably one of the worst, like, kind of, like, not worst, but craziest. Were well, there people in the pool? Yeah. Oh, um, fuck. That's not <laughs> <That, that laughs> after they get started. <laughs> that was the worst part. I was Everybody's like, like <laughs> they were like, is it raining? And I'm like, oh. oh and we're all, of okay, course, so we've been drinking all day. And so we're, like, not, like, the quickest. And we're like, oh, that's funny. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, no. <laughs> that's that's nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Like nobody came over. Over. If you want to get the room, oh, yeah. Yeah. we all we all bolted. We all went to our own rooms. So right. I won't name names, but that guy wasn't very happy about his rooms because so, it was it was just a random customer, and we we're like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Who's responsible for, for this guy? We're no, like shit. Olympic athletes when it comes to drinking all day, but it's like when it comes to like people trying to keep up with us, right. they try too hard, and we're like, yeah, you got to pace it, man. Yeah, so it was a customer. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh. See, I thought it was a rep. Well, let's just nah, say that usually that guy, the reps can hang. Yeah, that guy's gonna. That guy has a permanent line of his beer at that place. So <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Moving forward, yeah. like, oh, it's not selling. Guess what? Doesn't matter. Here's another <laughs> fucking keg, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, all right, so we got craziest experience out of the way. Now, like, you have, a, I see here, like an IPA. Yep. You have two IPAs, right? There's obviously. Well, go we, ahead. We have a West Coast style IPA, and then we have a session IPA. So okay. the session is going to be, and the word sessionable, super light. Right. ABV. You can drink more IPAs. than three of them. Yeah, it's pretty easy. I love right. that beer. Um, yeah, so those that's pretty much the difference between those two. One's super light, easy drinking. The other one's an actual full IPA. Okay. Yeah. And what are the other two that you have? So the other two that we have is we have our John Boat, which is a golden ale mm-hmm. with English malts. We call it a coastal ale. It's super light. It's 
one of the easy gateway drinking beer. beers. That's yeah, it's a gateway beer. Try to get the domestic drinker onto something. It's well, a gateway beer. <laughs> gateway well, beer. I'm not going to lie. All of us in this industry can't really drink, like, this crazy amount of hops over. Like, we'll have one or two and be like, all right, I need something light. Right. And so that's why these golden ales and lagers and just pale ales, the super light beers, are coming back, like, real hard. So that's our answer to that. John Boat sells two to one in our actual brewery to our IPA. Um pretty much in our tap room so it's our number one selling beer in the tap room and it just goes to show people want to drink all day and hang out when you're visiting and experiencing right. these things and they have a beautiful right. tap room by the way yeah. it's right by the and it's oh. right by the jag stadium you can yeah. hit it yeah. with a stone we've been Definitely. in jacksonville a couple of times i don't know uh, how how eager we are to return to be well if to we, totally beer <laughs> <while> <laughs> there. we had a beer location maybe that would change things but well i'll yeah. take you guys up there so uh, the daybreak. So the daybreak is our brand new. So we used to run with a pale ale called People's Pale. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said earlier, it was the first Florida beer to be canned and everything like that. Um, we retired it last year about this time. So we retired it from the market. You can get it in some areas. We make it exclusively for like certain certain people. But we replaced it with a goes. So fastest growing style in beer right now is going to be your sours and your goeses. Right. Um, we're riding into that train as well, trying to keep up with that. So this is a go style grapefruit. Uh, ale, you're pretty much going to get a little salty tartness to it. Um, so very good citrus, but it, the salt kind of cuts through it. So it's pretty nice, refreshing. It's awesome to drink when it's hot out. Had That's a shot today. of tequila to it. Fantastic. Tastes like a margarita. margarita. Basically yeah. a beer margarita oh. if you add a little tequila to it. Very nice. It's delicious. Do you have the tequila? Right, or do we have tequila? It's right up your alley. That's you got right. some tequila? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't have any tequila with me. Right <laughs> so how long have you been with the company? So a little over a year now. So I worked at World of Beer over in um, the UCF area for a while. So. Okay. It's one of the busiest ones. It was a good one, yeah. Downtown's the busiest, and then we were right behind it. We were nipping at the heels. So No shit. Trying to. I wonder if you know my cousin. I think you do. Probably. Um, Kaylee Cobb is her name. Kaylee Cobb, yeah. yeah. she's uh, She used to work with us, and now she's running Brass Tap. She's one of my best accounts. Yep. It's like, yeah. I'll just like text her and be like, "Hey, I need you, I need help." She's like, "What do you want?" <laughs> I'm like, "Thanks, bud. <laughs> Catch you later." <laughs> so, um, moving kind of along with the the market overall, like um, what's really kind of crazy was with craft beer and cigars. There are a lot of similarities, right? Would you consider the market at this point saturated, or would you say that there's still more room to grow? Um, I mean, because I'm starting to see some beer shops closing down. Yeah. So, I would say. With this market, like we've all seen the plateau happen, but it depends on who's out there. So, and that's what's going to turn around craft beer. So, we just saw, like, I'm not trying to drop names, but Dogfish Head and Sam Adams merge. Um, That's one of the two biggest craft breweries together now. It's almost like a survival plan. I mean, we all see it. Right. But the fact that I've grown so far, like, year over year, we're up 14% all of a sudden. We're like, and last year was our, be- our busiest year in ten- in eight years. So we were like, we're seeing a growth, but I think it's a local scene now. Yeah. So right. if you're local, you're going to have better growth than these big dogs out there. Right. As long as you have the right people in the right area. Yeah, yeah but, because, I mean, more often than not, a lot of our beers that are on tap or stuff, that, or, you know, stuff that's kind of affiliated with Florida is really right. what moves the best. Yep. And because you when, know, People want local. Yeah. And yeah. the best thing is, like, you're going to have people that travel and through. Right. What's local here? Well, we have this from Jacksonville. We have this from Tampa. You know, like, that's going to be your first options. And then you're going to go to your national brands. Right. Mm-hmm. Very true. So, okay, so you, you're seeing growth. Um, yeah. So what makes your IPAs and your sessions different than, you know, your other run-of-the-mill craft beers? Well, it, I mean, it's going to be taste, first off. So right. this we're in this weird scene where IPAs are going to, like, milkshakes and fun stuff like that. It's a lot. It's really interesting to see where the IPA name has started. What we have here is a true-to-fault West Coast style. Right. So when you drink this, this is what IPAs were, like, back in my day, I guess I could say when that. IPAs, you know, yeah. When IPAs didn't have, like, 12 syrups in it. And so, right. You know, I'm not just saying that, but, like... It's just a straight up. We're true to fault. All of true our to beers, style. Yeah, it's all a, of our beers are super chill. It's just be, you know, just because it's a simple format doesn't mean that it's a bad beer, right? Right. There you is know. a formula. Keep it simple, right? Yeah. <laughs> the traditional, which is yeah. a lot of people have gone off the beaten path and kind of lost the. Uh, yeah, I mean, you see what it. beer, it's cool to how try. beer used to be made and taste. Yeah, right. It's cool to try, but I mean, drink more than one, maybe not. You could drink more than one of these. That's the best thing, like, because it's true to form. Like, it's an IPA. It's we're looking for resales. Right. Yeah. yeah. 
So, like, obviously you have, um, shit, why can't I think of the name? Uh, what's the fucking, the, the one in Tampa, the big one. Cigar City. Cigar City. Cigar, yeah. So, yeah, so you have Cigar City here, that's uh, Funky Buddha, mm-hmm. right, in Florida. Like, those are two of your big dogs, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, where do you think Intuition ranks on the overall list of closer craft? To, closer to Jacksonville, the higher up we are. Yeah. Um, we right. are actually really strong in that Jacksonville market. Um, we've established such a dominance there that we are the Cigar City over there. But right. when we're moving chess pieces, other people are playing checkers. So right. um, what we're doing is trying to fully establish ourselves before we move to the next market. Right. So we're moving our name down the coast. That's why we're building our relationship with Daytona Bev so strongly right now that we really want to bring that Jacksonville kind of swag, if you will, and bring it down the coast all the way down. And that's right. our big thing. And then build north. So we're we're moving the needle. Um, I wouldn't say across Florida we're, we're ranked high, but... Yeah, Jacksonville's just, slowly Jacksonville moving along. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, slow, I mean, you know... You go to any bar in Jacksonville, you're going to see a mul- mul- two handles multiple handles bar. of intuition Well, if you've been, I mean, you've been in business seven years, right? How long has Cigar City been in business? Eight years. Eight years. Okay. Well, no, we've been eight years in business. Oh, you've been eight? Yeah. Cigar City, 2010. So put 10. 2010. Oh, okay. Yeah. So our nine-year anniversary is in October, if I'm not mistaken. So. And, and how long is Cigar City? Ten years, I think. Yeah. Okay, so they're a little bit ahead of you as far as time. They caught the boom, um, grew real well. Uh, they're awesome formula. I love High Lie. It's right. probably one of my favorite beers. Drank it last night. It it's, a, it's a great beer. Yeah, you see it everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's true. I mean, awesome and it's an easy fit for especially guys in the cigar industry. Mm-hmm. So, all right, you want a drink? Yes. Yeah, let's crack some beers for sure. Okay, cool. We want to try first. What should we go with first? Go with, go you're, with the, John you're the experienced, so the master. We're going to go John Boat first, and then we're going to kind of move your taste buds. Right? Okay. So that's our blue one. Um, Mr. Palmer is very excited about this. He's got his glass already. He's like, here we go. Let's go. Can we drink? Why are we drinking? Wait, don't get my own. Now I get to share. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take get your bit. whole glass all to yourself. Thank you, sir. You can take all these home with you. The glasses? The beers. Oh. They're all open. We'll spill them all over the place. I'll get you another set. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. So this is our golden ale. Give it a good little whiff. You can smell nice little toasty malts in there, the English malts yeah. they use. Super smooth. So very, very easy. Very, very so clean. Very good. Yeah, so you're going to get these very people light. that are like yingling drinkers and stuff like that. Right. Hey, you want to try a local beer? Boom. Throw this right at them. Taylor, be tap your microphone for me. You know, thank you. Just getting some feedback. Okie doke. This high, this it's high tech equipment. We're, we're, yeah, we're like maybe just shuffling it. I think we're a highly uh, trained establishment. Yeah, I get magic touch. <laughs> so really it's gonna good. be light, clean, little, it is, it's su- very good. little residual sweetness on the back end. What would you pair with this? As, as far as a cigar, yeah. I mean, you know what's funny is I see a lot of people that, that'll recommend uh, specific pairings. I think that a lot of it's more universal. Yeah. Um, because you can go with a bold cigar and a light, uh, light beer. You know, I'd love to see that debate. If somebody says to me, well, no, you can't do that. I'm like, why the fuck not? You know? Um, be light. Or if you want to do a light cigar with the light beer, you could do that too. So I think that it really kind of is based on uh, personal preference. Okay. And it really, you're really kind of getting into a, a more complicated level at that point. Whereas if somebody likes something sweet, you know, give them something sweet. Some, you know, I don't think you really need to counterbalance it. Um, we did do a. We did make a stout with our Habano in mind when we blended our beer, okay. right? Yeah. Um, just because uh, the sweetness of the beer complemented the Habano really, really well. Um, but with that being said, if somebody said, "No, you're full of shit," I'd rather drink this with that. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, "What the fuck do you know?" That doesn't happen. Well, my you know? thing is this: this is my golf beer, so and I try to golf at least like once. A week. So, <laughs> <laughs> my boss is watching. Um, so, so my thing is this: like, it's I, I. This is pretty much what I sneak on, right? And or I mean, buy, right? <laughs> this is bad. Uh, editing this. Uh, <laughs> we'll cut that right we out. do smoke cigars out on the golf course. My friends and I do all the time. So yeah. I was just wondering, like, what would be an actual pairing? Because I need to. Of course, I'm well, but it, it, see, in, in that scenario as well, you know, you're drinking you're a, you're having a light beer. You're probably gonna want a light cigar, light cigar. because of where you're at, okay, right? So. I mean, you got 18 holes. Uh, I give you, you know, like, I love the uh, Neanderthal, which is a San Andreas cigar, uh, yeah. super fucking full bodied, bold. I'd love to see you smoke that on on 18 in holes in 95 yeah. degree fucking weather. It's not gonna be fun. No. Yeah, well, like, I mean, like, uh, we, we sometimes make it to 18, but like, <laughs> see <laughs> it's, where our it's three. <laughs> it's, it's three. So you know, I mean, 
I would do something like a Connecticut shade, something that's a little okay. bit lighter, maybe with some undertones of spice, not over the top, but not so much of the thought process of, of the pairing of the beer as just the overall atmosphere, okay. you know? Yeah. That makes perfect sense, yeah. All right, round two. Round, round two. two. All right, now this is going to be the fun one. We're going to go 180. This is our daybreak goes, so I like to mess with you guys. <laughs> Are you guys into sour beers yet? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, that was I'm, not a huge <laughs> I'm not a huge beer drinker, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, my, my wife and friends like mind. the sour beers. Yeah, this is actually really easy drinking. So uh, a lot of women like this style, too, when they try yeah, it, because uh, it's similar to... my little to, group we hang out with, the women yeah. like the sour beers. Yeah, they well, they can really, relate to, like, almost a wine. It's which a wine feel, too. It's it. like is a wine it feel. They're yeah. kind of like that the acidity of, like, what wine has sometimes, so... Which is amazing because they're actually... I, mean, I know sours are growing the most, but, like, they're the actual fastest growing... Uh, consumer of craft beer now as women. No shit. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So they went from like 3% to 7% over like a full year, and you're kind of just like, not bad. Mm. So, not super sour. It's going to be a little tart. Yeah, it's not over the top. Not yeah. over the top. It's got, it does, you can definitely taste the sourness, but it's not yeah. like, oh my God. That's little subtle, little subtle yeah. grapefruit, and that adds a little bit to that tartness too. It's yeah. like natural tartness of a grapefruit. Yeah, mm. pretty much it. Salted That's grapefruit. Good. Salted grapefruit. Add a shot of tequila to it. You're yeah, do all right. the salted, you can taste the salt. A little tequila. Yeah. yeah. Right? A little There's tequila, and you got a little. The category five, uh, <laughs> what was your fucking, what's the name what? of the place? What? Oh, so, Cat Five Bar, yeah. Yeah, the Cat Five Bar. There you go. Your backyard. That's pretty good. That was good. Super light. It's pretty good. So like on a day today when it's 150 degrees out, you drink a couple of these, you still feel hydrated. Right. Pretty nice. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, why don't we uh, take a quick break? You want to you pause it right here? Yeah. yeah we'll I've been watching the timer, buddy. I know. <laughs> All right. So pause here and then we'll. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back already. <laughs> Wasn't that great? Oh, thank you. That's going to be a great transition. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw up. Uh, we have some uh, free commercials in there. It's so going again. We're good. We're good. That was it? Yeah. Just like that. I got to turn it off and turn it back on. That's all I got to do. That was no, no shit. break. Yep. I didn't even wow. exhale on it's, almost, <laughs> it's, it's like it never happened. Yeah. Like it never That's happened. That's amazing. And the, okay. audi the audio audience doesn't even get a break. Yeah. And, <laughs> we're, and we're back. And we're back. And we're back. All right, so next is the um, session. Right? We're gonna the go session. session. IPA. So this is our easy on the ice. This is the beer they named after me. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's our session IPA. It's super light. You're gonna get more citra hop in there, so you're gonna get a little more tropical flavors. Really you easy to drink. More of that? I don't know. That's good. Spill. Not an IPA fan. <laughs> No, no, no. He's he just been... Uh, no, he's an alcoholic. Oh, perfect. My yeah. kind of customer. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the perfect customer right there. Yeah, you take good care of him. You know, yeah. he'll, he'll be like, intuition's the best. He'll fucking be setting up on the table and shit. So this got an amazing nose on it. A lot of oh, yeah. very hot forward. Very refreshing IPA. Very refreshing. Light on the finish. A lot yeah. of hot flavor. Yeah, the, uh, the sloshing you're doing in your mouth sounds really good on the air. That you got you to mix it around. You got to get the, you know. That's how you properly taste things. Yeah. yeah. You, you can do the, the fuck with, with the wine. Like wine the yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Suck in the air. You know, constantly <laughs> judging me. <laughs> you're very loud. Well, that's, look, you control this shit. What the fuck do you want from me? You have the fucking power. Right, turn me the fuck down. You can just turn them down. Turn his mouth noises down. <laughs> I'm fucking number one. No, that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so what do you oh, think? Good. This is really good. Yeah. Really good. We're bringing this it's back. Like undertones of grapefruit. I'm not a big IPA guy. So it's, it's got, it's got it's a great fruit finish. But it, yeah. it, is, right. it tastes good, though. It's got okay. good yeah. flavor. IPAs are something that just grows on you. You just keep trying them, trying them, trying them, and then yeah. uh, one day you, you wake up and you're like, I love these things. And right. then you, each each <laughs> yeah. hop has a distinct flavor, so then you start yeah. finding the love for like, like Simcoe has different like flavors cannabis. of hops, and then you, oh, wow. you know, instead of falling in love with the style, <laughs> you, the you start cannabis. liking beers because of the hop flavors. And right. Hunt, hunt those specific beers down. So Very nice. My advice is just keep trying them. One day they'll grow on you. That's yeah. how it you happens. That's what day. you said to your wife, right? Uh, yeah. 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 Just, we're just going to keep going. Keep going. One, one day you'll love me. One day you'll like this. Trust me. This is fine. This is fine. Don't worry. One day you'll figure it out. Shut your eyes. Just shut your eyes. All right. All right. All right. So the last is our West Coast style IPA. 
Yeah, it's in. I'll put, I'll put these back. For you. So this is going to be a, my reach. What are you doing? It's going to be a little bit more <laughs> hoppier, a little bit more bitter. You're going to definitely yeah. get a, a lot more malt characteristic because that's a West Coast style. It's a kind of malt forward, a lot of hops to kind of balance yeah. everything out. It's going to be nice and hoppy on the front, and then it falls off dry. So you're going to get like a nice, not a very lingering feeling. All right. Which one do I keep close to you? <laughs> uh, I like these two. Don't take these two. Okay. I like these two. <laughs> In his fucking shit face in ten minutes. Perfect for one beer. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the ABV? Six point seven. For for which yeah. one? The oh, daybreak. Oh, the daybreak is four and a half. Like oh, 4. see that, that's it. And, like, and the it's jumbo. Like a four and a half. Four and a half. That's like one. Yeah, it's nine. <laughs> yeah, you add them together. together. You got to find the average. So it's yeah. four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. <laughs> you just add everything, divide by three. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not a fan. <laughs> uh, I'm, he's judging me because I uh, he's slushy. He can, <laughs> can hear it. You can hear sloshing. You're sloshing the noise. Uh-huh. I think we should all slosh it. The, uh, the I-10 is the best one. You like the opinion. I-10 the best? Yeah. It's, it a, is it's a solid beer. So it's really it's, good. It's our workhorse. We sell quite a bit of this beer across yeah. the state. Um, I mean, everybody has to have a good IPA. This is, I kind of call it a beginner's IPA. Yeah. If you're not really into hops or bitter beer, you can really drink this beer because of the malts that we use in it. Yeah, so. it's got a really good finish. Well, yeah, a little lighter yeah. than the other one. Yeah. yeah. It's not as, uh, yeah, it doesn't have like a, a grapefruit or anything like that. Right. Mm-hmm. A better balance, I think. The other yeah. one's very hot forward. Right. Well, and it's a little more alcohol, too. So this is 6.7. This is a right. little bit better. Just shy of that 7 mark. But right. that's more. I have to try this one again. Let <laughs> me no. no. return back here. Getting back on the John boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, there should be an I-4 one, but it'll take, you know. There, it'll I, take, there, 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 there technically is an I-4 there one. There is an I-4 one. Right. Who makes it? Orlando Brewing Company. Yeah. yeah. Which? Does it does it uh, take two hours to get here, no matter where you are in fucking <laughs> yeah. Orlando? And two hours it, to drink, no matter where you open is it. Is it, is it exactly. fucking broken? I can't even lie how true that doesn't, is. Because it doesn't like, always open. I was going from <laughs> I was going from like Disney World, and I was driving back home. Just in that Orlando part alone was like two hours. Yeah, as soon it's, as I got oh, yeah, past it's that. It's it's what's up with terrible. the hill coming this way? So going over the two hills, the bridges. Uh, yeah, that, like every day. That's because it funnels in. You lose it's lanes. Still three lanes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I got nothing. It's a fucking catastrophe. Yeah, right there at Sanford, it just yeah. That's up. what I was talking. Yeah, yeah. Right, right over there. Every bridge. day at four o'clock. Yep. It's terrible. Don't even try. <laughs> Good stuff. Um. All right. So I kind of asked you. Where, well, uh, did I ask where do you see the future of craft beer? I guess yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is what happened. It's yeah, getting tough. Go. It's falling back to you know touch base on a little bit more. It's falling back to the local scene. Uh, some of the big players are getting a. You're feeling it a little bit because right. there's so many locals. Yeah. And, and people just like to drink well, beer from that's made locally. And right. They have, people want local food, and it's the same thing with, with beer as well. So. It's all the hipsters. Uh, <laughs> Sean will sur- does Sean will survive? The guys that started early enough that yeah. will make it through it. A, a lot of people are feeling the, the squeeze already. We just Red had Cypress. Red Cypress just recently yeah, they closed. closed. They closed. Yeah. Uh, and they were a very strong. They were strong big, low. very yeah, well they, respected. They while. made incredible liquid. It, it, it took me by surprise. It's probably by far one of my favorite breweries. Um, I've probably been there more, earmuffs, probably than any other. <laughs> Brewery in Florida. No oh, shit. Only because Jacksonville. I've been to the intuition quite a few times. <laughs> Look, man. I mean, fucking Jacksonville. No, okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> Actually, I just, just drove to North like, Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> Jacksonville's nothing, you children. <laughs> um, little side story though. On intuition, like I go pr- kind of far back to where the head of brewing operations, who started as the head brewer when they first opened. Uh, I've actually known longer than my oldest daughter. So I actually met him in Atlanta when I was still stationed in the military. No shit. Um, my buddy was the head brewer of a brew pub called Mark Twain's in Decatur, Georgia. And uh, I, when I was lear- I, that's right around the time I was getting into craft beer and trying to learn and trying to brew it and everything else. And this guy was kind of like an icon in the brewing community there. So I was in there a lot trying to learn and, and, and volunteering in the brewery. Well, he was Andrew was yeah. my buddy Jordan's assistant brewer. He was working at Whole Foods part time, helping him help, helping him out in the brewery part time. Uh, I got out of the Navy, moved back to Florida. I got a you know a rent. I, I actually brewed my first seven barrel batch um, on a commercial system with him in Atlanta back in like 2009 when my buddy Jordan he, he had some like errands to run. He's like, "You guys are brewing today," and they're like, "All right." So we ended up <laughs> brewing the whole the whole batch for the brew pub or whatever that day it was a brown ale. But uh, fast forward back uh, to when I got out of the Navy, moved back down to Florida, I get a random message, I think, on Facebook or a random text message. 
Andrew's asking uh, what do I think about Jacksonville and my last duty station I, I moved from Atlanta to Kings Bay Georgia so there's nothing to do in Kings Bay Georgia it's country woods and submarine base for the Navy there I was going to Jacksonville a lot and it was upcoming craft beer scene. Uh, Bowl City was just opening then. Yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of good craft beer bars were already established. I was like, Jacksonville's awesome, man. Like compared to, you know, it's it's not Georgia. Georgia is way ahead of the times, right. believe it or not, in Atlanta. But I was like, you'll love it. And um, he didn't tell me what it was. And then a few months later he's like, I took a, a job he's for ours. intuition. <laughs> yeah. He, t- he ended up getting the head of brewer position. He's still there. He's still a good friend of mine. No shit. Yeah. So uh, intuition you know holds Do you ever go, my heart. Do you go out to Sanford at all? I go to Sanford all the time, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, because, like, that's now, like, the fucking hot spot for all It is. So, no shit. Sanford (laughs) is trying to take that Asheville um, concept. They actually took, like, all the business owners, they took a field trip out to Asheville. They talked to the, like, city out there, and they're poking their brains and how how they supported the growth of all the different craft breweries and how how everybody's staying afloat out there. They put everything to a vote. Like, they're very community based. They are. If it doesn't benefit the community, they get rid of it. Right. So, so they wow. should. Yeah, they'll they have like a bus that takes you like that that old school looking tram that takes yeah, you. Yeah, the trolley the, thing. Yeah. Yeah. That, that they 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 all said yes, this is what we wanted, and I was talking to uh, one of the guys out there, and he goes, yeah, but we got to get the timing fixed because people are not getting from the train station when the train drops off. They're waiting like an hour for the trolley to get there. Yikes! Oh, yeah. Bring them back. Uh, that's so, not good. so they're addressing that, but everything like they they got that approved, so that takes you straight from the train station. Downtown historic spot, like they got, they built that together. Like it's crazy. They're looking to do more on cigars over there too. Are they? Mm-hmm. Right, like Celery City. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're, they're opening up their own cigar place. Are they really? Yeah. yeah because Celery they City is a pretty two, awesome place. Yeah, it two is. buildings, yeah. and I think they're putting it in between it or something yep. like that. Yeah. So it's gonna be dope. Yeah. They were, they were kind of one of the founder craft beer bars one of the they, one of the first they or, were the, the, first or the first yeah yeah them and weston weston i mean weston. you might not think it but they they throw a lot of craft out there so they really support locals and really good people there i feel like i gotta get down there you've yeah. never been i was there like once it's really? 10 minutes from here what's your excuse yeah. Yeah. Like once or twice a month they, they, they have here. the best I german I work here. it's like one of the best german food I've, restaurants I've in there. the country i've eaten yeah, there that place yeah. is always packed i've eaten there one the bargain they fucking get all crazy and they start oh my and you best beer brought you can get in anywhere around here you gotta do the boot the boot the four of us have to go and do a boot i can write that off it's definitely edit that out as well edit that out that this never happened but, yeah, but, uh, Sanford's <laughs> up and coming. I mean, I think there's, like, four, maybe five breweries there now. There is. And there's, Wops, a, Wops. there's a vodka place now, too. It makes vodka and moonshine. Yeah, they just did their soft opening, I believe, yeah. last week. I was Stillery. talking to Tuffy's. Yeah, I was talking to my buddy at Tuffy's about that. We there's went, a cidery? That's Tuffy's. Yeah, Tuffy's, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Huge beer garden. Same guy that's involved with got Baji with, uh, outside, everything like that. No shit. Yeah. Do you want to modify the five questions and make them more beer oriented, and then ask um, them? Yeah, we can do that. We got yeah. five questions. Sure. We have five, five questions, questions. We ask the cigar people. Oh, so. that's a lot to be good. <laughs> but it's yeah. awesome because well, you know, well, for well, one, he's, he's never seen the show. Oh, this is one thing that I got to ask. That I got to tell okay. you before we get started. So you know, we're sitting up there, All right. and Tyler says, "Oh, so you're gonna be joining us for the podcast?" I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> so he's never listened. He's never oh. watched. So he has I no, no, no fucking. About it. He has no fucking idea. I follow you so on Facebook. That, no, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. I yeah. just, you know, it's just. This is I know that you don't know about the questions. Is my, uh, is my point? I'm just oh, uh, blind in my head. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, what one person, living or dead, would you like to share a beer with? Benjamin Franklin, hands down. Nice. I yes. think he maybe is. Instant response. So good. Well, my one year, my one year of improv at FAU is really paying off. <laughs> <laughs> The Benjamin Franklin, he's just, some of the books I've read on him, he's just so knowledgeable to the fact of, like, everything. And I just want to ask him, and I would right now, I'd be like, uh, what do you think of our country now kind of thing? And just go from there. Right. And I think pretty sure he could just fill that in. Plus, I heard he drank a lot, so it'd be kind of cool because you're not going to just get one. Right. Yeah. Right, yeah. I think that's a yeah. great answer. That was a great yeah. answer. I think he was a homebrewer, too. I know, yeah. I know George oh, Washington he was, but... Shit. He was yeah. like, I'm getting hammered. <laughs> <laughs> what other guy is going to go out and do a lightning storm with a kite? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that guy had some shit going on. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, a little re-up, eh? Can I have some more? Uh, just trying to make sure I remember the questions. Uh, uh, what questions? Tyler, the questions? I, Tyler, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you're the fucking best. Thanks again. Yeah, yeah, man, right. you're the best. You're the best, Tyler. What one fictitious person would you like to share a beer with? Fictitious? 
movies, TV. We've had yeah. cartoon characters. Comic books. Comic books. I'd probably be like Clark Kent. Right. I'm a huge DC fan, so always follow House of L and Clark Kent, just kind of knowing like your biggest abilities to hold back kind of thing right. at all times. So you could rip the world in half. So after four or five years, you're going, you're really yeah. right in, I was you? like, I bet you can't break through the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> well, just it's just faster than a speeding bullet. A uh-huh. like, you know, he's like such a I'll just ride on your back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to get him to fucking cave and admit that he's Superman. Yeah. yeah. That's true. It's true. But I, I mean, would know oh, that you ruined everything, right? With some IPA, that would work, I guess. Yeah, I was about there to say. Go. I can be, be convincing. Are you guys, do you make stouts or anything for yes, specialties? Okay. Yeah. So they make a hell of a stout. Yeah, we have a year-round stout that we use. Um, it's called King Street. Um, it's available to uh, Orlando Market, so you can see it floating around out there. We're getting some things turned on over here. Um, but it's a year-round stout. It's only 8.5%, super clean, smoky. Only 8.5%. Yeah, dude. Only 8. Yeah, you know, you got you, you to gotta hit the 10s <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the stouts. Yeah, this, this is 8.5%. You That's can light. drink it all day. I call it a Florida stout because it doesn't, like, stay in your mouth. You've drank, right. You drank stouts before that, that are linger, just syrupy. Yeah. And you're kind of like, well, I'm never going to drink anything else after this. But, you know. Ours kind of, you can have three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. All right, what's your favorite beer? Favorite beer. Um, All time. I, I love this question. <laughs> I used to get this question every day at World of Beer, and I was like, whatever's free was usually my favorite beer. But now, um, That's a good response. Yeah, I mean, whatever's free is usually pretty good. But I will say my favorite beer, like my go-to, uh, easy on the eyes, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. If I, if I see it, I have to get it kind of thing. Like it's kind of a hard question because yeah. like each beer is almost Depends, like, like, like an IPA yeah, stout. We, like I have a favorite have, stout. I, you can't almost compare the two. On a nice like April spring day. Like depends like <laughs> kind of like that, right? Right. But um, sure. Uh, Narragansett year round. It's <laughs> 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 a fucking cop out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cop out. Yeah. All right. Thanks um, to plug the plug yeah. in the house beer. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, what, what's the best piece of advice anyone ever gave you? Always do better. Um, my dad said that, and because I remember I got, I lost. It was our little league like final. We we came in second. And, uh, we were really upset, and then I was like, "What am I gonna do?" Because I was like a knee high, and he's like, "Always do better." And I'm like, kind of took it to heart. And ever since then, if I got to be in class, I got an A next year. If I got to, you know, you just constantly improve upon yourself. So. Right. Did he say this the one time, or did he always say it? And oh, no, he had to reiterate it quite well, a few times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it finally sunk in. Like, oh, yeah. shit. I mean, being successful is mostly about failure. So Right. And you gotta you look at your fails, do better than that. That's it. That's right. Answer. And then the, the last question is kind of easy. Your social media contacts or how people get a hold of you? or uh, They usually reach out um, via text if you got my number. Um, I can leave a couple cards here for you to kind of throw up if you need. But you can always hit me on Facebook, Tyler Venom. I don't really have an Instagram. Everybody makes fun of me for it. I, How the fuck do you yeah, not I have that? Not have an I honestly Intu- intuition has an Instagram. Insta- though, so, yeah, they yeah. do. I don't. So um, what? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Uh, like you're missing the boat. You are aware of that, right? Yeah, that's the new. I can't even wave. Facebook. People make fun of me for my so, Facebook. If you look, I haven't hey, posted anything. Tyler, I think it says you, you can, live in Nebraska. You know it something. does. <laughs> yeah. it still says I work for I just want. I just want you to know. <laughs> it's true. Do you do classes? I just want. I just want so you to know. Social media classes. Are just classes. Yeah, they're all fucking done. I just want you to know. You can do better. You can do. Oh, uh, so how do you fucking you like go. that? Thanks, Ben. I don't understand how you. How do you not? How do you not fucking have Instagram at this day and age, man? You I barely know. I built this whole Snapchat. fucking business on Instagram. Dude, I, 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 Snapchat's a waste of fucking time. It's, it's not going to work for you. No, yeah. Like you don't have. You're not 14 years old. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Go ahead. No, I mean you know Snapchat could work. Yeah. But it's not like I wouldn't use that as your main anchor. No. You know, um, as far as like the beer scene's concerned. Fuck yeah, dude! You should definitely be having an Instagram. So you know, insane. Events and everything you go to. No, we have like a lot of friends. One of my m- friends, she works for uh, New Belgian, and she tells me every day, like we go, we'll tag team an account together and, and meet she's up for lunch. And she's Instagramming every day, and I'm like, what's that? And she pretty much said the same thing. She's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. you're missing There's some big players, dude. There's some big players I know that Instagram in it. It's, <laughs> it's two things. It's marketing. And your boss is going to see it, so they know you're out there hustling. So right. it's, it's a double-weaded sword. It, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, just fucking document you your day where you're right. going. Right. Who you're checking in on Instagram. You know, like, 
you start building a little bit of a following and then all of a sudden you do a pick that you're at a fucking bar and somebody's mm -hmm. like, oh, I got to go stop in. Now they carry intuition. So like you're helping your consumer. That's you're true. helping your fucking, your That's customer. Where's like, my pen and paper? <laughs> right? Yeah, you should definitely. Watch the <laughs> show. If you forget, watch the show later. Let's go back. Rewatch this. <laughs> Rewatch this. <laughs> I'll give sessions for beer up top. There you go. go ahead. You drive it. Yeah. Yeah. Say, hey, how do, I, how do I do this? How do I do this? Right? So, so speaking yeah. of events, you got an event. Let me ask you guys to talk about your event coming up yeah, this weekend. Yeah, but by the time this, this goes up next week, the event will already happen. It'll already, so oh. we would have already lived it. Oh, we're going to edit that out. No, uh, we'll let it go. Let's we go. Pretend <laughs> like we, just, we were just at your event. Yeah, the event was that it fucking was amount. Was awesome. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Great, great time. Fucking crazy. Yeah. We had free crazy. beer. We what? had free cigars. Stella glasses. So I was fucking to the nines. It was yeah. ridiculous. To the nines. Yeah, the nines. Legit. I didn't tell the question. Stop what looking at me. To the night. I don't know. I'm but you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> You're like, oh, well, I get it. It was a big deal. It was Everything's a big deal. Everything's covered up aces, guys. <laughs> 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 Listen here, young whippersnapper. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Bringing it back. Bringing it back. <laughs> Bringing back rad, too. Rad. Fucking rad? Early 90s. Oh. I don't know why, but I always say homie. That like, shit what's up, homie? What's up, homie? That shit is rad. That shit is 90s clothing line. Cigar hustler, like, fucking skids. Fubu. No. <laughs> Fubu. <laughs> Fubu. Fubu. <laughs> Bring it back. Oh, what was the what was the pants? The Jenga or Jenga? Jenkos. Jenkos. I remember those. Uh, I remember those. That's a throwback. I overpaid for those kangaroo fucking back pocket ones. I used to have the kangaroo hat. The overpaid. Yeah. <laughs> They're like ninety dollars. <laughs> <The> dazzled. <laughs> yeah. up the Terry cloth. These are awesome. Crazy. Check out these pockets that I can never use because they're all the way down <laughs> by my cap. I can fit time. my math book <laughs> in it. Like. <laughs> exactly. You don't even need a they backpack. Just, you don't need a backpack. Skateboard. Like yeah. pants, weren't they? Yeah. Like, how do you skateboard? Which I skateboarded growing up, and you can't skateboard in those. You no. could totally, first of all, you could totally skateboard in them. No, my goodness. Absolutely. No. And you can put your knee pads under the jeans. That's yeah. cool. And that's why they were made like that. Maybe. I don't think so. They're heavy jeans. You can't. You guys just you keep talking. I'm going to keep drinking. Those. Dude. Dude, they would come down and, like, be all frizzed and frazzled, like. I remember kids wearing them. I'm like, them, them, them pants kind of wrapped yeah. around the front of your shoe yeah. most of the time. We're going to YouTube this shit, and we're going to. I'm going to show you let's, motherfucking let's Jenko. Can we Jenko? cut? This would be a perfect yeah. time to cut to YouTube. <laughs> on a, uh, and there you have it. And here's a the Jenko yeah. skateboarder like fail video. That's, yeah. that's what you're going to find. Top top hits right there. <laughs> I don't even think you can find Jenkos anymore. No, probably not. No. Like you have to mm -hmm. get them on one Maybe of those. Maybe consignment but. store, secondhand store. Yeah, eBay. 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 Yeah. eBay. It'll be on eBay. And pay fucking double for them. Double. We need them Even one going back before, which is for a skateboard skit. <laughs> all right, I'm pretty so, sure you can make um, them. <laughs> that's it. We good? You good? Yeah. You all done? Well, I'm gonna keep drinking, but yeah, you it's funny because talking, like so. at the beginning you were sweating. It's you know when the air turns off, I don't adjust quickly yeah, to you, the temperature. Yeah, you the air being hot, hot in here. It's yeah. it's hot. It's hot. It does get hot in here. We shut off the air because it picks it up on the microphone. Yeah, only to feel the pressure. No, what happens is it just. It sucks up the sound. It's, it's right behind you. It's all yeah. electronic. So it's like, yeah. you know, we can't do that. Put on some heat. You should see when we smoke and there's no fucking air. <laughs> no, then you can't see us either. It's like we're in the fog. You got about 40 minutes and then all of a sudden you can't see <laughs> a goddamn thing. Like, open it's the like, doors. You okay. Start hearing birds in the background and stuff. <laughs> right. Well, hey, dude, you know, we appreciate you coming out. Yeah, appreciate you coming out. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. You're always right. welcome at, awesome. at the shop. Uh, Cliff, you know, we'll, we'll see do this you again. Every week. We'll, we'll yeah. find some, uh, we'll keep this ball rolling. Yeah, we can. See who yeah. else we can drag out. I, I just replaced me that quickly. That's it. <laughs> we're done hey, with you. We're going to be back. You <laughs> were the first. You were the first. Uh, that's all that matters. You'll always remember. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the number one. Always yeah. number one. Tyler. Who was Tyler? What did he do? Who was he with? He was, uh, I think he was with Intuition. Was it Jinkos? Was he with Jinkos? He was with Jinkos. He was with Jinkos. 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 I think he was a skateboarder that, used, uh, that wore shorts. There you yeah. go. Didn't have that I think he was in a fail video. I did wear shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Skateboarded. Yeah. No shit. And yeah. he doesn't have an Instagram. You're right. So. But what a cool job. He drinks beer. He's got a Hawaiian print hat. Yeah. Shorts and flip flops. And well, yeah. I didn't know I was going to be on Almost TV as good today. as I job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Almost. almost. But his pace. No, I, yeah, that's yeah. true. His defense, he didn't know. I didn't even know we were going to be on the interwebs. So, uh, <laughs> See? And you're here every week. Oh. And I'm you don't even know what goes on here. He no. I feel like you don't even know. I know. I've been in the old studio. You don't follow That's true. Him? I've been oh, in the old studio. Oh, I do follow him. What's wrong with you? Get an yeah. Instagram. I, I even <laughs> download. I, I got an Instagram. <laughs> I got an Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> got an Instagram. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. Thanks, everybody. No worries. All right.